All right, we're going to make this media sign. Okay, first we're going to make a rectangle by six rectangle. And then next, we're going to make another rectangle, which is going to be our base. I believe that's like an 8 by 1.6 inches. Or you can blow it up and see what I did. My next rectangle is going to be the slot, um, which the media science fit into the base. I'm going to copy this because I'm going to use this on to the larger rectangle to make my protruding little lip uh, to go inside the base. And I use, I kind of put it halfway um, through the larger rectangle. You only need a little bit to stick out. Then I align. Make sure everything is in the middle. You just go to a jet, a line, and I think a line middle. You got to make sure you choose everything that you want to align first, and then you do that. Then I welded um, the smaller rectangle to the bigger rectangle to make that lip inside the base. Now I'm making my squares for the Cash App and the Venmo. I make the squares, color it, and then I offset it. I change the colors to the, on the outside of the offset because that's the part I want to score on the Glowforge. Make it a color so the uh, Glowforge will read it. Now I just copy it three times for the different QRs that I'm going to put on this sign. Then I align it, just move everything where it's supposed to be. Watch those blue lines, pretty much tells you what's aligned and what's not. I highlight it, object, and then go to align and kind of manipulate it until you get it all even. Now I start making my letters, my scan to pay. And I believed I use autograph font for this. Is it where I wanted it? And start typing for my Venmo and my Cash App and my PayPal. And making it the size that I want and aligning it with the boxes underneath. This is pretty easy to do. It's just time consuming because you want to make sure everything's aligned. And then the second most important part is your slot size. Um, you can make these all day, but if your slot does not fit into your base, you're all messed up. So yeah, so make sure you print out that um, slot sizer that I will have a link. In all of your QRs, I print it on vinyl. Um, you can buy uh, printed vinyl paper. You can just print on a regular printer um, from Amazon somewhere and just print your squares. Make sure they're the same size as your squares that you're, you're scoring on the Glowforge. And just stick them inside. And I'm just putting everything on there that I want on this sign. Um, like I said, the squares I'm going to score on the Glowforge on my clear acrylic. 
but I'm also going to cut them in in gold acrylic and place it where the score marks are. So you put your QR codes, your vinyl QR codes in the squares on your clear acrylic, acrylic. and then on top of it, you put your um, gold square. Looking pretty good. Just aligning everything up. Also, I'm coloring the lettering because I want the Glowforge to know what I'm doing. So basically, the lettering I'm going to score. I think I changed. Yes, I changed. Um, I want to make scan to pay engraved and set a score. So I changed that color to gray. So the Glowforge will see I want to do something different with that. I decided that the square for the base is too pointy. So I made a different base that's more rounded, you know, safer. And I deleted what I had and just lined it, lined my slot with it. Nice and even and centered. Double check, make sure it fits. Then I highlighted everything, went into file and made save as, save selection as, then save it as an SVG. Then take it to Forge. Open it up, Forge. Now we're in Glowforge. We're going to change our material to medium clear acrylic. And then you see all this, the size, score, different things. And I just wanted to score just one of the boxes just so I know where to my QR codes. Everything else now set. Set to print. 